One of the more important things for our rocket is the parachute. Uh, without a parachute, your rocket will simply crash back to the ground and it will be garbage. You won't be able to refly it. At least with a good working parachute, we will be able to fly this rocket many times. So, first thing we need is the template. The next thing we're going to need is a garbage bag. I have a clear one, but you can use any color garbage bag. It doesn't matter. You can even use a shopping bag if you find the right size. One moment, we'll get back to this. The easiest and best working parachute I've discovered for our size rocket tube and our size rocket is this six-sided, 14 inch across template for the rocket. We're going to punch a hole in each corner and we'll attach that to the rocket. The easiest way to make this, again, if you're using clear plastic or white plastic, very easy. If it's a black or green plastic garbage bag, it might be a little bit more difficult. Lay it right over top. I'm simply going to trace with my marker. We're not looking for exact precision here either, so if you make a little squiggly line, it's not a big deal. But we're just after as close to the rough shape as we can get. One second, I'm going to cut that out. There we go. I've cut out my rocket parachute. There it is there. It's not the easiest thing to see because I've made it out of clear plastic. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a small bit of masking tape, okay, just ordinary old masking tape. You want to make it look nice and neat, you can. Cut the ends of the square after you've ripped it off of your roll, like that. Okay. We're going to take it and we're going to put it as neatly as possible on each corner of the plastic sheet. There's a reason for this. This will give it strength. And the strings are what's going to hold the parachute to the rocket. So I'm going to tape those up real quick and give me a second. When you're using tape on your rocket, you don't want to use a lot of tape because that's going to hang it up inside of the tube. Just a small little piece, about the size of a quarter. It's about all you need on each side. Okay, so there's our rocket parachute. And we have a small piece of tape at each corner. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hole punch we're simply going to punch one hole through the tape. That will make it a lot easier to attach our parachute. Make sure you take the little snag of the little chad away from there. We're now going to take a 48 inch piece of string. We're going to cut it into six equal pieces. That way we have one piece of string for each corner of our parachute. Okay, we have our six pieces of string. We're just going to simply take one end of that string, pass it through the hole, and here's where your knot tying practice comes in. We're going to tie a couple tiny little knots up here, trying to get too much string left over. Pull it tight, really, really tight. Okay, there we go. I've got one tied on. We're going to tie the other six, the other five on, sorry, and we'll get right back. Okay, we have our six strings attached to our rocket parachute. Now all we need to do is take two of them, take two at a time, the side by side ones, and just give them a little tie together also. Okay, we've tied our strings together, so now all we have to do is just hold them together in the center. That'll give you a good idea of what your parachute's going to look like. That will actually work quite well for a rocket parachute. That will be beautiful. Next up.